welcome. Today I have a very quick video to show you some journals I made out of, uh, made the covers out of brown paper bags and fabric on the inside. So I'm going to also describe how I made these because they're, it's really, really very simple. Um, these are all three the same. On pretty much the same on the inside so I'm only going to flip through one and then I made this one actually a couple of weeks ago um, it's a little bit bigger hard to fit in the camera um, on the camera and um, this one I made with um, again brown paper Sorry, let me unwrap it and then I'll show you. I made an extra long cord for some reason. Um, I used brown paper with paint on it and I just, bra this was really just one of those papers that I brayered extra paint off onto and I thought it was really pretty. So I made it into a journal cover and then I attached this little, um, uh, circle thing. I don't know what you call it. A rosette, I think it's called. Using some yarn and um, and glue, basically. I just wrapped it around and around and around. I had this already made up, and I attached a little bead to it. Some uh, card uh, cardboard cardstock back here to help it stand up a little, so I could wrap the cord around it. And I sewed it onto. That's the bead. I sewed onto the inside. So on the inside of all of these journals, I glued on fabric. On these, I made some pockets, but on the other ones, I don't have pockets. Um, I had these papers pretty much already because I had made some journals in the past and, and this size, it's like 12 by 12 scrapbook paper. So I just, I had these made up already, so I just made the cover and then sewed these in to the uh, to the cover. So that's that one, and here we go again with the wrapping. And then I decided I would make some more of those because uh, I don't know, it's fun. <laughs> and uh, so what I did was I brayered some paint on a brown bag. I made all three of these using one brown grocery bag. That's why they're different sizes because I just had different, um, I just cut them to different sizes. So anyway, what you do is I brayered some paint on here, a bunch of different paints, and then I used a stencil on top of that. You know, if you wanted to, you could outline these, doodle on it, you could do a lot more, but um, I just kept it simple. And then on the inside, I cut them down to the size I wanted. On the inside, I glued the fabric. And what I used to glue, you can use any kind of glue that you like, but what I did was I did a little mixture of um, Elmer's glue, like regular Elmer's school glue, and a little, little bit of water. And then I spread that onto my bag and then laid my fabric down on there. I sewed around the edges because I like the way that looks, but that's optional. You could leave it without sewing. You could hand stitch it. Um, you know, many things that you can do. And then I just gathered some papers that I have. I have lots and lots of papers. <laughs> um, Eco printed, dyed. Uh, this is using hibiscus, um, dried hibiscus flowers, I believe it's called. I get it on Amazon and it makes a really pretty color and eco printing of a sort book pages I did some uh, some of that um, shaving cream marbling if anybody's ever done that and so I just gathered my papers and I sewed them into the journal and then I tore some strips of fabric two different colors because this green fabric's very thin. And then I just, you know, I just sewed down the the uh, fabric, super, super simple. So um, it was just a fun project. I love making journals and sometimes the easier the better. <laughs> so I just wanted to share these with you. I am going to list them on my Etsy shop. Let's see if I can get them back all on here. And thanks for watching. See you next time.